comment regarding literacy. In Zimbabwe, we, have, uh, we enjoy literacy rates of over 80%. But the, the issue here is ebb and drift. And when we talk about communities that are in the remote areas, we're talking about communities that we were trying to contain where they are in the remote areas. So the challenge here is mainly to provide basic infrastructure. I think the issue was raised by Uganda, and it's not only power, it's water, it's roads, infrastructure, it's communication itself. So I, I think it's, 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 it's a much more holistic, we have to look at this more holistically than just saying we need to provide internet facility to remote areas. No, I think we need to make life, quality life, bring quality life to those people so that the internet is an icing on the cake. Thank you. My name is Edwin San Roman. I was the former president of the regulatory agency in Peru, and now I'm working in Dominican Republic. I want to share experience in Peru. It's a project to connect 3,000 remote areas using the Universal Service Fund. The cost of the subsidy, it was $5,000 for every remote area. And it's a private company who's given the service. And the prices in these remote areas are the same as in the capital of Lima. For instance, a 600 kbps uh, internet, it costs all, less than $60. We are replaying this project in Dominican Republic just now. We have uh, our project is to connect 500 localities in with the same uh, idea. The prices for the consumers is going to be the same as in the capital in uh, Santo Domingo or in the big cities and using the universal fund. In this case, because of problems of electricity and other things, the cost of the subsidy, it's almost $10,000. Just now we are in the bidding process of that. There are five companies that, is, that are applying to this, uh, to this project. And the other thing is that in the, in the rural areas, I'm living now in a, a small rural area in Dominican Republic, and I'm doing the project from there. And really I found that many, many people already in these rural areas knows about computer. They have computers because we have now broadband in this little town that is called Los Botados. In the beginning when I moved there, they told me maybe there are two, three computers. The next day we installed the broadband there, it was 10 people, 10 young people waiting at home to install the cards to, to access. And now we think there is at least 40 waiting, 40 computers. They, are, they were able to assemble also the computer because I took 10 computers in pieces and gave them to assemble. Nobody teach them. They know already. And that computer now they are working in the, in the telecenter about phones, home phones. When I was there, they told me maybe there is 10 people who, are, who can pay for a, a telephone. And we make the design, uh, maybe for, for 20. Now I have, I have a big problem because I'm waiting a little 120 people that wants to have the phones because after they have seen working the fonts and the quality of the voice, because we are using voice over IP, everyone, everyone wants to have it. And they have the, the money to pay it. Where they came from, I don't know. Many of this, the money came from abroad, because they have relatives in the United States and in Spain and everywhere. They are getting the money from, but they need the service, and they need the internet, and. Uh, it's a similar thing is happening in Peru too. Then many times when you are not living in a rural area and making project in a nice office with air condition in Santo Domingo, in Lima, or in Rio, you don't know what's happening in these rural areas. And really the change and what's happened there, it's quite different what this, this, 
uh, the uh, people thinking in a nice offices? I think I will not talk about uh, uh, like the, uh, just two specific issues. Per perhaps someone will raise something uh, about the electricity. Electricity problem is always there uh, in South Asian country or in our uh, African subsection. What we have done, we have designed some special uh, five, six hours backup UPS, some small generators, so that can take care of six, seven hours of our uninterrupted electricity. That's a little bit costly, but we had to do to provide services over there. Uh, that's that's uh, I, I want to share with you. Thank you. Well, uh, t two very short ones. It's difficult to foresee the future, you normally say, but um, I belong to one of the very few that can do that because I can say for sure that things will not be in the future as they are today, and they will not be as we think today. And I think that is important to think about when we're discussing all these items. If we had been here for 10 years ago, I think the discussion about the coming 10 years then would have been quite different from from what we have seen happen. And, and I th think that there is a tendency that, uh, you know, the phrasing, generals are always planning for the last war. In some way, I think there is a risk that we are talking about the problems we have had in the last 10 years. Uh, and in reality, I think the technology will develop in a, in a good way under easing up and making it easier for better penetration. But on the other hand, there is a problem of the demand for broader and broader band as a result of the development of services will increase enormously rapidly. And I think there's a good news and a bad news in that. And uh, the risk for um, problems when you're investing too heavily in one technology is today that you will not be able to catch up with the enormous change of services and content that we will see in the future. This, these discussions can of course continue online. So if you go to the Internet Governance Forum website, there is a link for dynamic coalitions there in which you will find the link to our coalition's homepage. So please do join if you are interested in this sort of issues and we hope to reconvene again in IGF Delhi and perhaps discuss this further. Thank you to the panelists and thank you for attending. Have a good day.